going on guys Bowtie Brem here once again and today I'm doing a review on the Vision Rockers little wheel review today um these are a very popular wheel and uh they come in all different sizes different finishes and they're on the cheaper end of the spectrum so uh let's hop into it alrighty so as many of you know um these are Vision Rockers um I have the 22 by 12 negative 51 offset um chrome finish obviously um and i'm here to give you a review today so this is what the wheels look like nice and beautiful even for being a uh, cast wheel has a great shine to it and it shines up real nice um so let's go over what what you want to know um Let's go over quality first. Now, the quality is a true rating on these because unlike some people that take their wheels off in the winter because they don't want salt and all that junk on them, um, I don't take them off. Um, I'm a believer if you're spending, well, the wheels alone, we'll go over price point, I guess, real quick. These wheels for the 22 by 12s are about 2,500 bucks. So if we're spending, or you're spending 2500 bucks on wheels. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want to run them all year round. We got a little ricer doing the pop pops, if you can hear that. So, yeah, price point, 2500 bucks for 22 by 12, negative 50 ones. I think that's a good price for what you're getting. But um, finish-wise, they are a good finish. Um, let me see if I can find one of my cons about them um the finish on one wheel has a bubble in it um under the chrome which um i don't know how something would have gotten under the chrome but i guess that's the same thing as uh like a wheel well or something stuff gets under there and it starts rusting um i am not sure but okay you can see right there ever so slightly little tiny bubbles and that's only these have only been run um year round for two years now so um the, they're not like the forged wheels where you can it's just made out of a big block you know um these have the coating chrome plated or whatever you want to call it so um if you run them all year round in the salt and such um you're bound to get bubbles eventually um other than that they come out pretty clean um another con i have is after two years the center cap that was all white and stuff but the center cap looks kind of i'll call it crusty um you know they could have put a couple more bucks maybe into that um to make them a little more appealing after they see some of the elements um i think of what else you want to know um looks these are one of my favorite looking wheels um, I think they look beautiful. I like the, uh, simpler, just spoke design. Um, with that being said, though, they're harder to clean because you gotta, if you're, if you're doing a deep clean, you gotta get it in all these little cracks and crevices, but you don't have to do that too often. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Quality-wise, held up, um, these are its second set of tires on them. Um, I've hit and and uh 33s um the other tires on here that i had were smaller um held up great um to potholes and such i live in good old new york and we got some gnarly potholes around here so they do hold up well um another thing is i heard maybe well some rims are the cheaper these aren't cheap rims by any means they're like i said they're about 2500 bucks so I guess they're cheaper than the forged wheels or whatever you want to call it, but these had no problems balancing out rim-wise or tire-wise, but the tires, obviously, that's a whole different ballpark. But um, the rims have been in great shape, no bends or any lopsidedness or anything like that. Um, they did take a beating when I went to uh, get these new meaty tires on, see if I can find that. Um, with wheels like this, like I said, they're uh, negative 51 offset. 
So, I mean, it's got a big lip on it, and um, it's so far set back that um, most shops, when you get them mounted, they have to reverse mount them, which means instead of having the face up, face goes down. And if you could see there, it got caught on the clamp, so I got a big old chunk taken out right there. As you could see, see if that's a better angle right there. Yeah, so um, they can get chunks taken out of them. Um, yeah, but I guess any wheel could do that too. Um, but see this now, this is what the center caps are supposed to look like. See how nice that is? Nice vision. And we'll go back to the old hunk of junk in the trunk, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of what else you guys would want to know for a wheel review here. Um, I think they look great. Um, break a bunch of necks when you see this thing driving around. Oh, look at that. Got a little Halloween going on. I got my bodyguards hanging out back there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, set that up, but that's beyond the point right now. Um, yeah, negative. the old uh, recording device here. No need to fear. Um, I was talking about with the negative 51 offset, they do have a good amount of the tire poke. Um, most um, 14 or uh, 12 wide rims are um, negative 47. Um, these ones are uh, negative 51, which um, I guess a couple millimeters matter. You know, you guys know that. Speaking of millimeters matter, I'm out here recording the video at the, uh, it's called the wormhole. Um, not only wormhole because it's, uh, well, we're extremely flooded, as you might be able to see, but um, it's called the wormhole for some other reasons other than fishing, but I'll let you guys use your imaginations to figure that one out. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I would say they're beautiful. Um, would I recommend them? Yes. Yes, I would. Um, I think um, one of the wheels that they compare to price point wise and finish and size wise um, would be the Archon uh, Lincolns and I think these look a lot better than them. Um, also let me go over the sizes that they come in. Okay so these come in like I said I got 22 by 12s on here right now. They come in 22 by 10s, 20 by 10s. 20 by 12s, 24 by 12s, and maybe some other ones, but those are the basic ones. So they come in a lot of sizes, but 12 wide is as wide as they come. Um, but yeah, I mean, all around, the Bowtie Brem out of 10 scale will give them a, mm, I'll give them a 9 out of 10. Um, I think they're a good wheel. They've uh, never done me wrong. Like I said, I've hit some gnarly potholes because, like I said, New York and uh, no bends or anything like that. Like, I've hit some that I'm like, whoo! But no, nothing like that. Um, I can't say that if you're running those rubber band junk tires that um, they wouldn't do that. But when you have big old meats on them, um, they're, they held up great. Um, but, yeah, I guess I can... Uh, give you guys a little driving test or something well a driving test wouldn't do you any good i'm kind of just rambling at this point but yeah that's my review on the good old vision rockers um like i said price point about 2500 bucks quick little recap price point about 2500 bucks good finish um for the money um possibly run them all year round we'll get some bubbles um they will withstand potholes and all such stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, 9 out of 10 review on the Bowtie Brem scale. So, uh, yeah. Be ready for the video next week. Um, this is Bowtie Brem. Remember to like and subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, I could have missed something. I don't know. I always miss something. But sometimes I don't. So, yeah. Those are the Vision Rockers. And I will see you guys next week. Review of my good old footage. And I realized I forgot one thing. I told you the sizes, but I didn't tell you the finishes that they came in. So these come in chrome, obviously. They come with a matte black uh, barrel with gray spokes. They come in full matte black. And um, 
I believe full gray, but the the uh, colors that I've seen on them are all matte colors. So um, you'd have to be into the matte color finish. Um, the only glossy one, I guess glossy is chrome. But yeah, like I said, they come with the barrel, uh, matte black and the spokes gray or all matte black, maybe all gray, but probably not. But um, yeah, I just wanted to add that in there because I was reviewing the footage and I forgot. See, told you guys I always forget something.